take it off. Yeah, like, yeah, go. Like, yeah, it's time to get any of the, any jitters and willies. Okay, so, all right. Hey friends, welcome back. I am here with my bestie, my dog, my ex Boon Coon, Harmony's Godfather. Josh, yay! <laughs> um, if I don't like you, you gotta call me Jay. I just wanna say that. Who has ever called you Jay? People do that, and I think that's funny. So yeah, if I don't like you, you gotta call me Jay. Or if you ain't know me from like middle school and like high school, at high school you gonna call me Sleepy. Sleeping. If you know me from like middle school, that's cool. But if you don't, you gotta call me Jay until you get to know me. Cause fuck that. <laughs> Rude. Yeah, man. So, <laughs> Lord. So today, um, again, I let y'all choose the topic, and today we're gonna be talking about polyamory. I let y'all choose between broke niggas and polyamory, and to my surprise, my pleasant surprise, I'm surprised too. I ain't lying. Y'all chose polyamory, so it's a good topic. It is a good topic, right? Because we got a lot to say about that shit. A whole lot. Coincidentally. Right. So I'm gonna start off. We're gonna start off with what is polyamory. I'm gonna give y'all the Merriam Webster textbook definition of polyamory. Please do because people really don't know what that is. And I noticed that like they, they just assume it's just like on some I fuck a lot of different yeah, people. Like, like it's not just group sex. Yeah. It's like, actually oh, a lifestyle. Right. They think you just in the orgies and shit if you like that. And right. Like, and that's not what that is. At all. So it is the practice of or desire for intimate relationships with more than one partner. With the knowledge of all partners, consensual, ethical, and responsible non-monogamy. So basically it's like you be in a lot of different relationships. Yeah. Or however many relationships that you want to be in and just you know, sometimes you just, you can't get everything from one person. Yeah. You know, yeah. so sometimes you can't get everything from one right. person. So I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing to practice polyamory if if that works for you. Right. If, if it's not something that's for you, I don't feel like you should try to like force that upon yourself, you know. Right. But it is, yeah, like it's, it's it, and it's not spreading yourself thin. Like people be like, oh, well, how can I, you know, deal with so many different people? And it's not really in the sense of like you taking yourself and spreading yourself so thin that you don't really know what to do with yourself. Right. Like that's not it at all either. So it's like, yeah, it's just like, um, it's almost like prioritizing. I guess that's why it's like, you know, it's it's different intimate relationships and all everybody's in, in have knowledge of each other. That's that, the whole that's point. That's a like, big part of it. It's not like, yeah, that's what separates it from like cheating. You know right. what I'm saying? It's like people being in the know-how and being able to like everybody knows what's going on, everybody's fully aware. And you know, that's that that's a big part of that's what builds trust in my opinion as well. It's like right. yeah, like everybody knows what's going on. So it's like no real secrets. Right. And it's like, I wouldn't even want to do nothing like that with somebody that I don't trust. Cause it's like, okay, if I'm with you, you and me, and like you, you telling me you polyamorous, you fuck with a lot of other people on a polyamorous, like if you just fuck with, a, like it's the difference between like, you just fuck with a lot of people and you polyamorous, like that's, that's not the same thing. Right, right, right. You know, polyamorous when like literally everybody know each other, they don't necessarily have to be dating each other, but it's like, okay, you know what I'm saying? I want two boyfriends. I won't just. I don't think I can handle more than two. I think, I think three or four. I think that'll be a bit much for me and my patience level. But I want two more friends. Okay. I, I want that. I, I understand. So, like, technically, I'm not gonna say two. I, I think well because I'm really multifaceted. So it's like there's different aspects of me. I'm a, I'm like Shrek. I got layers, and I'm an onion. Shrek. You feel me? So there's different aspects of me that need attention. And you know what I'm saying? I, I'm i not sure 100% in certain aspects that I can rely on one person to tend to all those different aspects. So, um, yeah, that's what, that's why I, it, it interests me, you know, because because like, yeah, like sometimes I want to do hood shit. But see, sometimes I don't want to be ratchet and I want to do very classy and very artistic things. And it's like some people can't differ. Di 
<sighs> Some people can't separate the two. I was about to say a, a big word, and I don't know why. The, the look, my son just said, fuck no, like, you, you're doing too much. But, yeah, like, some people can't do that. So, that's why I was like, yeah, that's what makes me more interested in it. Because, yeah, I like, I want to dabble in different things. Yeah, like, and, I, and, and it's the crazy thing is like, okay, so whenever we see, like, online, like, women think that men are incapable of doing this type of thing or... Uh, especially being a man and a Leo, like that, like those are two big things. That's that two strikes yeah, we that both I already Leo. have. Right, that's two strikes that I already have against me. So whenever I say Leo this, men are trash, dumps the juice, pure D garbage can, absolutely awful. I don't know how I became bit. That's the thing. It was only I can only be friends with Leo men. <laughs> I can't date Leo men. Friends, we are perfect. The dynamic is absolutely perfect. I'm not that bad, though. In relationships, I'm a Leo. So, in relationships, Leo men, oh, no. I can't have that. I don't, I don't, I can't do no. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. um, Hell no. My Leo this jumps out, but I'm not as crazy. So, and for a big part of me, and what this is how I understand that I'm different from my peers. It's a lot of things that men are just like really insecure about, like a lot of you know getting your head knocked between the wash and the dryer jokes and shit like that. And I'm, I'm really cool on that. Like my, my motherfucking head, bitch. I shoot the fuck out your ass. I'm really I'm good on that. With like, that shit. Don't play with me. I'm 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 really just like not as insecure about you know what I'm saying things that my peers are, and I I, I take confidence in that honestly because it's weird like being a Leo and just a, a black male I guess. Um, yeah, it's like yeah, it's just not that big of a deal. Do do whatever you do. If you have a life outside of me, that's fine. Just tell me about it later. Right. <laughs> like, like we can debrief when you get home. Yeah. Like I like that. So it's like it's it's really just not that big of a deal. Um, I understand like relationships that they're not all solely sexual. So it's like when you can enjoy time with somebody and, um, you know, like y'all bond over certain things and it's like, it might be one or two specific things that you bond over. And those are what, since that's what y'all bond over is certain other things that have aspects in your life that may need some attention or you know just you know things that you might want to do and so that you can find somebody else to do those things with um and you know and and it's still safe and it's comfortable and it's not like a betrayal or any deceiving you know it's just this is what i can enjoy when i'm with this person right um like i said it could be platonic but that, that's why that's why i feel like that that type of relationship is a thing because you could you can enjoy other types of things with people and then not have to be strictly about sex like that's how that type of relationship can work to me. Um, right. It's not strictly about sex and just trying to have sex with as many women as you can at once. Like, that's right. really not all of it's it. Really like, it's really about intimate it. relationships and yeah. having like actual connections with more than one person. And that's why I say like, I want two boyfriends just because, just from my personal experience in dating, it just seems like if there's, if there's a sexual chemistry, then there isn't much romantic chemistry. And then if there's romantic chemistry, there isn't much sexual chemistry. So it's like, it's really hard to have both in one person. And I really want two boyfriends that know about each other because I mean, <laughs> let's, why not? And right. like my, my personal experience with polyamory, where, you know, I did deal with a couple at one point. I'm personally, it ain't nothing against them. I'm not doing that shit no more. That ain't for me. I'm not fucking with it. I don't want to date no man and no woman at the same time. And I, for damn sure, don't want to date no man and no woman that's in a relationship or was in a relationship before I came along. I'm not for it. That's not my cup of tea. I ain't knocking it. I'm not doing that shit again. Zero out of ten. Very ghetto. Would not recommend it. That's my personal experience. That's my testimony and where I stand on the situation as far as that goes. I really don't see me being in a serious relationship with a woman probably ever again. That could change though because I changed like Louisiana weather. So tomorrow, wow. <laughs> so tomorrow, <clears throat> I might want you some coochie or something. You never know with me. You don't never know with me. I don't know. I'm an onion. I got layers. Yeah, yeah. See what I'm saying? That's like, what it is. Yeah. All right. Pillow bitches back. Pillow bitches back. <laughs> and see what's going on. Yeah. It's a lot. Of, it's a lot of me. It's a lot of me. And and I have yet to find somebody that I feel like I can just let, all like that I can just let all of me be just known and free. Like 
you like this part of me not saying that like they won't know about it or like i hide from people or nothing like that but it's just some shit like okay we got this in common i'm into this he ain't into that yeah you know so i feel like you know i understand polyamory from that aspect you know what i'm saying because you know some shit nigga number one might be into nigga number two might not be into or nigga number three, whoever else case, like I said, I can only do two. I can't do more than two people. Well, that's going to stress me out. I don't, it ain't enough hours in a day for that. And I don't got enough coochie. I ain't got that much coochie now. And I can't, I can't. <laughs> I ain't got that much coochie to go around now, baby. I can't satisfy three people. Yeah, no. That was really the, that was one of the things like it, when I was dating a boy and a girl, it was just kind of like, I can't have threesomes every day. So I can't do that shit, bro. I can't, I can't, I can't with it. It's too much to do. It's too many people to please. It's just not, it's just not for me. I would like to attempt before I say I can't do it. I just can't have no threesome every day, bro. I just, I, I can't. It's too much. It's just too much. <laughs> it was too much for me and that's okay. You know what I'm saying? That's okay. Shit work out and shit don't work out and we learn from the experience that we have the experience that we move on. You gotta, so, you gotta have the experience before you say you know. So you know for me well, to know well, what I do. Well, do I take that like. back in certain cases, let me say that in certain cases, because there are some things that I will never try and I'm hundred percent cool with saying that I don't like it and I'm never gonna try it. Hundred percent. I'm hundred percent. No problem with that at all. So I'm gonna try it a little more. I'm gonna say only in certain cases. In certain cases, yeah, and it's it's two of them for sure that I'm good on. Which are one is gay things. I'm uh, good on well, anything. You know, you know you're not gay. I'm, I know, but I'm good on like anything. Like you know gay. that. <laughs> so it's like yeah, and booty eating. I'm good on booty eating from here on. So it's like nah, I don't need to. I don't like. I don't need to eat another booty to know that I don't like it. I don't like it. Like it's, it's, I feel that's, it. That's a, that's, I feel that's, like that's a wrap for me. That's Everybody don't gotta like eating booty. You gotta like eating booty. You know what I'm saying? You gotta like that. But as far as the whole polyamory situation, I just feel like it's one of those things. If you're interested, if you know that you feel like you can carry on. More than one, um, you know, intimate relationship, 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 because it's not just fucking a lot of people. That's just having casual right. sex. Right. Then that ain't nothing wrong. You know, we don't shame. Right? Yeah, so like, yeah, if you do if that, you do, like that, that, you do that, you know, but, do your thing, yeah. I support. As long as it's consensual and safe, right. do your motherfucking thing, baby. Yeah, I'm no, not don't strain nobody about along either. Right. But also, I want to say this. If, you, if you're a man and you want to do it, like... Have some money, bro. Don't don't try to be the broke nigga. You got to, to have pilot, money. Bro. Like, don't do it to yourself. You're gonna you're gonna be a sad dude. I ain't Polyamorous men need money. Don't that is my yourself. that is my that's my advice. That's my word of advice to the men. You need money. That's you cannot sad. entertain and keep more than one woman happy, and you ain't got no money. It just don't work. Dick only gonna take you so far, my baby. If I mean. It could take you to a lot of places, but if you want to continue on to have like multiple relationships, like you gotta have, like you you have that entails providing for exactly. and loving and caring for and seeing to the well being of more than one woman. So if you don't have enough money, it's not gonna work. So that's why I say this: every time that you move up, technically, like you hit big, you know what I'm saying? You get a promotion. You add another one to, you know what I'm saying? Like you add another one. That's 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 how that works. You be like, oh yeah, oh I when got you a promotion. Can more okay. than one bitch. Like, you, when, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like it's like having kids. Yeah, you know like, what I'm saying? Like if right now just one is what fits yeah. you with your tax bracket and your yearly salary, yeah. then you know you get to making a little more money. You get partnered up. You and your partner get a little more money. Y'all exactly. have some more church. Exactly. Don't exactly. just be trying to bring all these different people into a situation that you okay. can't maintain. So yeah, just like do it like collecting charms on the bracelet every time you get a job promotion, you know what I'm saying? You be Not like, a charm oh, bracelet. Let, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna get another girlfriend. Bow, there you go, right there, because you know you can you can know you can afford it. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, try, I'm trying to put you on game. Trying to put you on game. Just don't be broke doing this shit, bro. Like. Or at least have hookups. Like right. you gotta be plugged in with, with, around the city, so it's like you can go to the club, get in for free. You know what I'm saying? Like you might know somebody that own like a restaurant and shit, so he give you cheaper meals. You right, know what I'm saying? Give right. you a discount, like because you always coming with a group because exactly, it's you and three other hoes. Exactly. So <laughs> you got you gotta play the game smart. You can't be a nigga not using Groupon trying to be poly. 
That shit don't work. It bro. don't. It don't. It like don't. you gotta learn how to budget, my nigga. It, 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 you you gotta grow up. You can't you can't be acting like Flavor Flav. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that house wasn't even his, my nigga. No. That house wasn't. It wasn't. You know what I'm saying? And he played it smart, as you see, because they gave him a house. They gave him a dinosaur in his front yard. They gave him all that shit, and none of that shit was for him. So he just housed a bunch of bitches. Yeah. And dated every last one of them. Sent every them last home. one of them. Yep, and sent them back home. Mm -hmm. So, last question as far as, like, would, would I do it? Yeah. I would do that shit. I want two boyfriends. I want that now. That's, like... <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even have to ask that question, <laughs> but yeah, I, I would, I would, I would try like uh, and see how I feel. Like you know, what I'm saying like actually trying to like being poly and not like being young and just trying to fuck with other bitches. So it's like, right. yeah, I, I, I would try it because like I, I like yeah, just like I said earlier, just designate things for different people. You know what I'm saying? So it's like yeah, when I want to do different types of things, I would go with different. With with whomever that I like to share that experience with, right. so yeah, like intimacy with different people is pretty dope. Like you don't really realize it until you actually like kind of you know get that opportunity. But I would I would definitely try it. All right, so I think it's safe to say all the boys and girls feel like polyamory is a thumbs yeah. up. Yeah, if I had two more, I would... yeah, you know so we fucking with that. Oh, <laughs> we fucking with that. All right, let me know what y'all think. Drop in the comments down below how you feel about polyamory. What would you do? Um, is it for you? Is it not for you? Have you had any experiences? I want to hear from you. I want to know. So until next time, boys and girls, bye. <laughs>